okay guys um i know i look really dark right now but i want to try something real quick so uh hold on let me just hold this button here okay oh this looks really good hold on let me let me turn this down let me turn those lights behind me down oh bro i don't even yo this looks clean now hold on maybe i could lose the glasses i could lose the glasses there we go yo this looks sick and i have the mic and everything right now i'm gonna show a picture of like what my setup looks like now i'm recording this from my iphone 10r so better quality than my ipad holy crap guys definitely gonna be recording my videos with this from now on what's going on guys dion drug 7 here and shouts out to my brother Devern for getting me this setup oh my gosh this looks good I got a good light for my video so now you guys don't have to complain about my horrible lighting and I have a good mic so now my video now my voice is gonna come out crisp cuz like you rarely hear the background noise with this mic like you only hear you only hear my audio now so oh my podcasts are gonna sound crisp from now on yes yes okay that's not I'm not here to flex about my late Christmas gift here I'm here to actually talk about um, the new trailer that came out uh, yesterday. I think it was yesterday. The new uh, Pokemon Journeys uh, episode trailer for uh, 2021. These are the upcoming episodes that are coming out. So um, I'm not going to show my... I'm not going to have a reaction to it. So Because one, I don't really do... I don't like to react to Pokemon anime trailers because... Um, yeah, I'm not trying to get copyright strikes by uh, TV Tokyo, so <laughs> yeah. Anyways, uh, I'm just gonna, you know, talk about certain things from the trailer, and I'm gonna just discuss my personal thoughts on it. So, uh, without further ado, I haven't said that in a while, but without further ado, uh, let's just get right to it. So, I'm looking at these uh, snapshots on my iPad. First up, we have... Uh, Wickstrom finally appearing in like a major episode. I think the only time we saw Wickstrom in the anime was in a I think it was in the Diancie movie and it was like a brief cameo where he was fighting Diantha. I am honestly really excited because he's gonna be fighting against Ash apparently from what the trailer showed us and um, uh, I'm really excited because I mean at first you know, when I when I first played X and Y, I always thought Wickstrom was like I thought he was always a interesting character with the whole night get up, so I'm really excited to see what, you know, the anime has planned for him against Ash and stuff like that cuz Ash is supposed to battle him. Oh my god, Ash battling Elite 4 members. I am so excited for this. Uh, next thing we saw was Opal. Well, not that wasn't the next thing we saw, but <laughs> I took these out of I took these out of order because, yeah. So these aren't in order, but the trailer also showcased Opal. So I'm actually really interested with the fact that Wickstrom and Opal are going to be in the trailer, or in not in the trailer, but in future episodes. Um, Opal never really cared for her, but I did like find her personality pretty hilarious <laughs> so i'm pretty excited to see what well, not excited but i'm interested to see what they have planned for opal um i don't know maybe i guess they might just have ash battle against her maybe who knows maybe bead might show up later on too i, I don't know maybe i mean if how can show up maybe bead can show up i just hope that they actually do something with bead and hop and all that stuff and then another thing that caught my eye this is actually the one thing i'm excited about this is honestly the only thing i'm excited about from this trailer i mean i'm excited for all of the upcoming episodes but this episode caught my eye because it focuses on our boy camon ash is far-fetched and in this shot here that i'm showing right now he's battling against um wickstrom's uh, Aegislash, and he's using a move what seems to be like, uh, which seems to be Leaf Blade, which is a critical hit move, and for those of you who don't know, Galarian, in order to evolve Galarian Farfetch'd into Surfetch, it needs to be holding a leak first, and it also needs to land 
three critical hits in one battle and that's when it will evolve into Surfetched. So I wonder if that's what they're planning on doing with Surfetched here or I I don't know because I feel like what what's going to happen first is that you know I feel like what's going to happen actually is like you know maybe Wickstrom I almost called him Wolfric but it's Wickstrom maybe Wickstrom is going to meet Ash and I feel like when Ash you know Ash is going to have one battle with Wickstrom first and Surfetched is going to lose that one and that's going to that's going to cause the whole Farfetched is trial where Farfetched is you know training and trying to perfect its movements with with the whole with its heavy with its heavy leak and then we're gonna get a later episode where we actually see our boy come on in this sleek armor here I, I i cannot wait to see what they have planned for farfetch i mean farfetch is one of those pokemon that i just don't care for as a pokemon but i am really interested to see where they're going with ash's farfetch because you know we haven't seen anything we haven't seen ash really do anything with farfetch besides that battle with b and where it just brutally got destroyed by b's halucha and that was really it and he was also just kind of riolu's punching bag so i really really hope that you know we get something we get something with farfetch'd here i just Ugh, I, I really hope they we get more farfetch centric episodes i don't want them to just evolve him into surfetched already i want i want ash and farfetch to have their moments first and then later on we get surfet then, then later on you know farfetch maybe maybe we can have ash you know ash and wolferg battle first like they battle once farfetch loses and then, you know, later on, Farfetch perfects its moves. Because Farfetch actually seems to be moving pretty fast with its Leaf Blade here. So, I find that pretty cool. And, um, in the trailer, it was moving pretty fast trying to hit, uh, Aegislash. So, maybe that's just a hint that it's actually going to be better at, you know, maneuvering with its Heavy Leak. And I also believe that, you know... It's gonna lose in the first battle and then we're gonna have another battle where maybe i don't want to say it's gonna win the battle but maybe it evolves into surfetched and it maybe ties with aegis slash who knows i don't know that's just my wishful thinking i don't know what you guys think comment down below your opinions in the comments next thing i noticed here is my boy inteleon finally appearing in the anime and Sable seems to be admired by the Inteleon. I'm really excited for this because if you guys don't know Sable is my favorite of the Galar starters and Inteleon is my favorite water type of all time and is also my favorite Galar Pokemon of all time as well. So I'm really interested to see what they have planned to do with my boy Sabo. I'm so glad that we finally have some type of, you know, I'm glad we have some type of appearance from Inteleon. So maybe, you know, this Inteleon belongs to a trainer, maybe Leon, who knows? Maybe it evolved, maybe, cause you know, Leon does have one of the Galarian, uh, not, yeah, he has one of the gen eight starters and I feel like maybe this could be Leon's like maybe maybe this Inteleon is defending Sable from I don't know maybe Team Rocket because it seems to be protecting Sable maybe and you know I I don't know maybe it could be defending Sable from Team Rocket or whatever or some type of threat and then Sable sees how strong Inteleon is and Sable wants to he eventually wants to become stronger at strong like its final evolution but its problem is and there's a there's a clip in the there's a clip in the trailer that shows uh there's a clip in the trailer that shows go seems to be training sobble but you know sobble kind of wimps out and kind of runs away from the battle and maybe we will get an episode where it will finally evolve into drizzle and probably stop listening to go for a while and then eventually evolve into Inteleon and then begins listening to Go again, who knows? I just hope that we do, we, I just hope they do more with, uh, Go Sobble because, 
Sobble is my favorite. <laughs> Sobble's my favorite of the three Galar starters, and I really want some more. I just want more of my baby. I just, and I'm, I really cannot wait to see what this whole Inteleon episode's all about. I've been waiting for my boy to show up in the anime for a long time. It's a shame that Ash didn't get Sobble, because I would have loved to see him with an Inteleon. But, uh, I'm just glad Inteleon's showing. Speaking of Pokemon finally showing up, Grookey is coming soon, guys. 2021 is when we shall be somewhere in early 2021 is where we shall finally be seeing Grookey. Look, at this point, I don't care who gets it. I just want Grookey to show up. Another shot from the trailer, Chloe and Evie riding a Galarian Rapidash and a Galarian Ponyta respectively. Now, some people said that some people said that Chloe might be catching a Galarian Ponyta, which, I mean, if she is going to be catching a Ponyta, a Galarian Ponyta or Galarian Rapidash or whatever, I hope they don't just do like a whole, oh, hey, we're going to show off this Pokemon real quick and then have her catch it. Like, I actually want her to, you know, I actually want her to, you know, I want there to actually be like a good episode focus on Galarian Ponyta, not just them showing off Ponyta and then giving it to Chloe. Or maybe, you know, this might be, maybe the Ponyta could be like a recurring Pokemon and then they might have Chloe catch it in a future episode. I don't really know. I'm just glad that Chloe's actually starting to become more, uh, what's the word? I'm glad that she's, she's starting to become more involved with the group, you feel me? And then this last shot is of Suicune finally showing up in the anime. Now there was a screenshot with a magazine um, from a magazine that was showcasing like the next few episodes. <laughs> Ironically enough, they skipped the Diglett episode since the Diglett episode is most likely some sort of filler episode. But I looked at some opinions with Suicune and you know it was like ash and go battling alongside suicune alongside suicune and a lot of people were kind of pissed because they were like oh if go get, catches suicune i'm i'm just gonna stop pokemon in general which is which is crazy are, are you really gonna let one character ruin the experience for you but in my opinion i don't think that Go's gonna catch suicune per se it's gonna be more of like Go and Ash. I feel like Ash and Go are gonna be friends, Suicune. Cause some people are like, why doesn't Ash get Suicune or whatever? But I feel like Go and Ash, where they were at in Pokemon journeys, I don't think they should catch any of the legendary Pokemon because I feel like it's too it's too early. Cause like we're we're literally just about to reach episode 50. Like that's more of like an episode. That's more of like an episode like. 90 kind of situation that's like an that's more of like no that's more of like an episode 100 like episode 100 plus kind of thing because you know most pokemon series are like episode you know aside from the original series most pokemon series last like what 150 episodes or so so i feel i honestly feel like you know we won't be getting Ash and Go catching any legendaries until like one, like the late 100s, in my opinion. But I don't know. That's just my thing. So I feel like, you know, maybe Ash and Go, they go on a quest to find Suicune. They find Suicune, battle it for a bit. Obviously, they lose or whatever. And then, you know, some maybe Team Rocket or some other threat. Hopefully, it's not Team Rocket. Because this threat kind of seemed, uh, this threat kind of seems serious in the in the picture I saw. Um, I feel like maybe, you know, Suicune sees, like while battling, Suicune sees Ash and Go's passion, and then whatever threat attacks it, he's, uh, Suicune's like, okay, these guys seem cool. Let me befriend them and help them stop this threat. And, you know, maybe it's like they befriend it, and after the threat is gone, uh, Suicune, maybe Suicune runs off, but then, but like this motivates Go even more, and like you know, maybe later on he can maybe catch it again in like the late 100 episodes and stuff like that. But that's going to be it for today's video. Sorry, no more Pokemon, uh, 
anime episode review since Pokemon is on that four week hiatus until January 8th. But, you know, from January 8th, you know, after like the Monday after January 8th, we're going to be back to our regular schedule where I do my Pokemon anime reviews. Right now, I'm just doing Pokemon anime speculations, I guess, because, you know, I can't, you know, because I don't want to just not do anything on Monday. Like, I do want to push out a video for you guys. So, thanks for watching. Don't forget to smack the smack that like button. And also, if you guys want more content like this, please also subscribe. It's 100% free. And also, comment down below. What, do you, what are you guys' thoughts on this whole uh, Pokemon Journeys 2021 trailer? I really want to know. And also, be sure to check out some of my other content as well. Only good, Chill Army. Thank you.